This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, it's really hot out and the fishing kind of sucks. So we're going to open a few packages I got in the mail. Pretty good packages too, I think. We'll start out with the smallest one first. This was sent to me by Amazon Fulfillment. I don't know who it's from. Well, there's no note inside, so I don't know who it's from. But we have here a Booyah Poppin' Pad Crasher. This is a topwater hollow frog. And it has a small popping mouth on the front. Decent hook gap. A little stiff, but not bad. I don't have a whole lot of luck on this type of frog. But getting a new one will pique my curiosity. I'll have to go try it. Hopefully I can get a bite. I tend to have more luck on topwater toads. The plastic kind you got to keep moving to stay on top. But I'll give the Booyah a chance. We'll see what happens. All right, moving on to the next one. All right, we got a big one here from Jeffrey in Columbus, Georgia. All right, we got a we got a heavy box inside of a box. Got another box. Got an envelope. And a letter, it says, Dear Realistic Fishing, sent some soft plastics, some bass, and some panfish lures you can use for yourself. Or give them away in a giveaway. Love watching your videos. Like that you bank fish. Be careful, there are jig heads in the package. Alright, well, thanks for the warning. Let's see if I can get this open without getting hooked by any jig heads. So these look like the pan fishing lures, right? We got tubes and grubs, got some more crappie kind of baits here, a wide variety of colors. These ones are shaped like little fish, little drop shot minnows, some more tubes, some more skirted tubes and some small swim baits. So this must be the panfish lures. Let's see what's in these boxes. This is Craig from Fishing with Lord Almighty and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Some more panfish baits, pre-rigged crappie baits that look like little grubs. Here we have some lizards, all pre-packaged in little sandwich bags. Got some plastic worms. Got some more plastic worms. Some skirted grubs. Got some creature baits here. Good variety so far. We got some more plastic worms. Some stick baits, soft plastic stick baits. Got some small flipping craws here. And a few more stick baits. So we got a good little variety of individually wrapped soft plastics. Those are mostly bass fishing lures. One more. Let's see what's inside. 
This looks like some more pan fishing stuff. We got spinner bait attachments. And a whole bunch of crappie tubes. Holy moly. This is enough crappie tubes to last a lifetime. Holy schmoly, look at them all. I just noticed this one has the little scent in it, the Johnson Shed Scales. I have a few bottles of that. I've never tried it, though. Let's see if we can get these all tightly packaged in there. They were really crammed in there. Wow, thanks again to Jeffrey for sending the soft plastics in. We had some bass fishing soft plastics in there and a ton of pan fishing plastics. Thanks again, Jeffrey. And last but not least, we have this package here from Todd in Red Bay, Alabama. Here is a note and it says, Realistic in Tennessee. I love what you do for fishing for the regular guy like me. I binge watch your videos and had never heard of Uncle Josh's baits until your video after your vacation. I recently went into a store and this box caught my eye. I thought of you when I saw it and had to buy it. Unfortunately, it's empty. I know you collect different fishing stuff and it's yours if you want it. Throw it away if you don't. Just so the box isn't a total bust, I'll throw in some of my recent MTB items I thought you could use. If you ever venture down to Muscle Shoals, Alabama, I can hook you up with the store. P.S. Before I sent this, I found the business card of the place that sells the tackle. Keep it realistic. Alright, thanks again Todd for sending something into the show. Let's see what we have here. What's going on fellas? Tackle Junkie 81 here, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. This is what he's talking about. Let me move this box. This is what he's talking about. Uncle Josh, right? This is the case box for the little jars of, of pork-based fishing trailers. I have some, they're over there in the cabinet and I don't really feel like getting up to get them. But this box is awesome. I will definitely find a spot for it in the fishing room. Inside the box, real quick, we'll just show off what he sent in. We got a Great Lakes, we got a Great Lakes Agitator. This looks like a lipless crankbait. I guess this is the business card, the trading post. Here's a plug on realistic fishing. If you're in Sheffield, Alabama, visit the trading post. We got some small plastic worms. Got an inline spinner here. Hey, this one's pretty cool. We got a Castaic boot tail swim bait pre-rigged. Also, one more piece in the box. Floating Real Buzz Double Plopper. I do have one of these, and I'm happy to have another one. This is a hilarious gimmick bait. Yeah, people probably catch fish on it, but have you seen what this looks like? It's like a buzz bait, but instead of blades, it has two plastic fish, like baby whopper ploppers up there. Crazy looking thing but I'm happy to have it. I love gimmicks like this. Thanks again to Todd for sending in this fun package. I love this Uncle Josh's box. I'm gonna go find a shelf to put it on. Thanks again to everyone who sent something into the show. It really made a hot, miserable day of fishing much better. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.